Uh, going to get into a little bit of a tutorial on mods. Um, mainly, I'm doing this mainly so that way I can post this video to uh, some Facebook groups. There's a lot of questions going on about mods, memory, storage, how it works. Uh, there's all kinds of explanations and personally I understand the explanations but some people are visual learners and I felt a visual tutorial might help. Uh, so as you can see right there I've got the storage, uh, the mod that I'm highlighting the international uh, is 0.4. I've got 90 megabytes free so I'm pretty much full of capacity. Uh, I can download less than one megabyte storage uh, sorry, one less than one megabyte file trucks or mods or tweaks. Um, I do have majority of my mods turned on. The ones that I use in my career are all turned on at the moment. Uh, any of them that are spinning uh, specifically will not fit because they're too large to fit in right now. That being said, I'm going to show you what happens. I'm going to make this mod. I'm not using this one in my career, but it's available now. It's not a very large mod, 61.6 megs, uh, but we're going to keep our eyes on the memory bar here. So this one here, 1.3 is tiny, 0 0.4 is tiny, 0 0.4 is tiny, 0 0.4 is tiny. Getting all of these turned on, that's fine. I'm going to leave these two off for now. So we come up here to the Peterman and as you can see the memory bar or the RAM jumps significantly. So if I turn that on now the RAM is being used almost to its full potential. Uh, if I turn these on they don't really affect it. I can still turn on this skitter. Now if I turn this trailer pack on, you can see that my memory bar now goes almost to the full. So full that this one turns off. I cannot turn this one on physically because it takes up enough RAM that it'll mess with the lobby. That being said, this one is 0.4. I can still turn it on as well as 0.3. I can still turn this on. And that's because the RAM usage for this these files aren't as big as that. Now, here's where it starts to get really complicated. If I come up to Bartleby's US Trucks for Console, which just come out today, and I turn that off, and I turn this one off, and I turn this one off, and I turn this one off, and this one, and this one. Now they're all tiny, tiny files. Whoops. But the RAM usage wasn't enough to make room for that. So, in order to make room for this 61 meg file, I'm going to show you what I would do if I would, didn't want to use a truck. I'm going to find one. If I didn't want to, I would swap it out most likely with that. But I'm going to see if there's another file that I've got turned on here. That'll allow me... Uh, that one there I can guarantee would. Nah, not guarantee, I guess. We'll go back. Not quite big enough. But as you can see, it's all trial and error when it comes to figuring out the best way to stack your lobby, I guess. Um, excuse me. Maybe I don't have anything large enough to compensate other than the porpoise tech. Ah, this might do it, actually. Whoops. Stop jumping, Paige. Turn this one off. 21.5 megs. Let's see if it releases enough RAM. It still didn't release enough RAM. So that's where it gets complicated. Trying to figure out if you want this mod specifically in here, what mod or mods you may have to turn off to put your larger file in. Uh, I see a lot of people sitting there saying you can only get two or three or four mods. Um, this is very true also. I'll turn all of these off here. All of them. Uh, we're gonna... I know what mods I've got for my career turned on. 
and I say that in full confidence because I've turned them off and on too many times playing with other people. Uh, that being said, with my memory maxed out, I would have to turn off one truck or one 25 to 80 meg file because online it's too much RAM. I'm gonna leave the Yeti turned on for a specific reason to show where the two and three mods allowed comes in. Um, unfortunately, when it comes to all of the large scouts, i.e. the Grand Hero, the Warrior, Big Moose, the Yeti, uh, what's it called, Ares. So if I turn Ares on, I've got the Yeti on as well already. But if you look at the Ares, I'll move my head out of the way so you can see the difference. The bar goes from half to full with the Yeti and Ares. That's two vehicles and I'm two thirds full. If I take this, I can put this on because it doesn't take up a lot of RAM. Uh, this doesn't take up a whole heck of a lot itself. It takes up a lot less than I thought actually. I can turn on another Limes. Now, three vehicles and my memory bar is full. I come back to page one and I can't turn on my Peterman. I can't turn on this trailer pack and I can't turn on the skitter. All separate files, all different size files, but their RAM doesn't allow, how much RAM they use doesn't allow them to be placed into the lobby. Uh, same as this one here. Now I can't turn on the side by side, which as you saw, it did not take up a lot of RAM but it took up enough that it can't be turned on. Hasn't affected any of my tweaks, or most of the tweaks, I guess. That being said, the Yeti is one of the largest files in the game. And I say that being a Dodge fan. So when it comes to my lobby, unfortunately, I can't stack it like most people who run slightly smaller uh, mods like uh, let's say instead of running the big huge ram I was using this as a scout it uses almost no ram uh, when it comes down to it it's literally it's all trial and error everything that I've learned is trial and error it, but it matches up to exactly what uh, some of the admins on the Facebook pages are saying in their descriptions uh, the only thing is, is I'm giving a visual. Uh, can I turn that? If I turn on this, which isn't a very large file, it takes up a significant amount of RAM, as well as Lime's L400. It's all in how you want to pair, what vehicle you like, uh, and using, keep, keeping in mind that you've only got a certain amount of space. Stacking mods is easy once you learn how to do it. Uh, start off with your largest mods first. Unfortunately, you can only do two or three. It's the way the game was designed because otherwise the game will crash for everybody, not just one person or a few people here and there. It'll cause problems with everybody if they release our uh, RAM limits. I say that because the day that mods dropped, I was one of those people where my game was crashing 24 7 you get in for five minutes and it would crash get in for two minutes and it would crash this is why a ram limit has been initiated into or sorry not initiated that's totally wrong word <laughs> uh this is why a ram limit has been installed into the game f for us to work on um or work with essentially it's the developer's way of preventing us from complaining or getting fed up with the game or uh, preventing us from getting fed up with the game or even, I don't know, I, at one point I deleted the game off of my console because the mods were frustrating me that badly. Uh, the developers are working with us to try and give us the best experience that they can. Um, Unfortunately, 
being on the gamer side we don't have any say essentially what goes on with the actual gameplay we can just put our input whether the, de the devs take our input and put it into the game that's up to them um but yeah uh, i hope this tutorial was at least a little bit explanatory on how to better stack your mods uh to make if you're into the modding to make your gameplay more enjoyable as you can see i've got tons of trailer packs i've got other add-ons like uh uh what do we got here no where is it this one here free the logs it allows you to put logs on uh modded trucks truck add-ons uh trailers if it wasn't for this tweak here we wouldn't be able to do that with mods um as well as i've got a oh, logging crane lights one of the handiest mods to have at night if you're doing a crane lift but uh yeah if you like what you saw hit that like button and subscribe uh come back for more uh, i do play a lot of video games whether it's snow runner or other games join in uh, till next time dragon's child out peace